Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is bring about conversations of a psychological, mental health, emotional health, and coaching related paradigm. We do that as often as we can. We've got over 900 of these available for your listening pleasure. We try to add as often as we can to the process as well. And it is my sincere hope that we continue to do that in a way that is beneficial to those who are listening, please like, subscribe, comment below if this is something that is useful to you. We move into number 72 in our, w in our uh, Life Lessons series today. And so uh, if you're new here, please uh, reach out if you're looking for um, basically uh, life coaching, business coaching, relationship coaching, pattern change, all those things and all points in between. We can get you there. Uh, to reach your goals, and that is super valuable. So uh, a couple ways to do that. You can reach out through Twitter at PO Perception. You can reach out through the About Me section of this YouTube page. Either way is going to lead you to get in contact with me or a member of my team, and then we can connect as needed. So what are some things to think about uh, in terms of life lessons? Don't let someone outwork you. Now, outwork doesn't mean necessarily work harder most of the time. It means work smarter. So working smarter means studying what other people are doing that you're not. It also means learning how to streamline your time in a way that makes sense to you. It also means taking proper time for rest, relaxation, and reflection, and using your time efficiently. When you're doing something, make sure that you are properly or positively charged towards getting the things you want done uh, completed in a meaningful way. It means understanding how to begin to understand the value as it relates to making decisions that are going to lead you in a forward and positive direction on a continual basis. It means that when you're working, be as focused as you can, understand the value of focus, and that the value of focus is greater than the value of what you actually accomplish. Because when you are more continually focused, you are better, ab better able to identify ways at which you can succeed now doesn't necessarily mean that you have to know everything that you're doing doesn't necessarily mean that you have to understand everything that you're doing in any given moment but at the end of the day the beginning of understanding how to make decisions as it relates to understanding long-term value of the impact you're making is directly related to outworking outworking others who might be working harder but not as as focused not as driven as you are the next is seek the things that make you happy that cause you to do no harm to others begin to understand that happiness matters and when you understand that happiness matters in a way that makes sense to you maybe you know if if relationships make you happy put more of your extra focus after your basic needs are met there if if variety makes you happy, put your focus there. If, uh, you know, s speech and and visualization and being visible and, and making an impact on others and public image makes you happy, put your focus there. If creativity makes you happy and art makes you happy, visual or audio or any other form, put your focus there. Focus on the things that make you happy with your, um, with your extra time, with your, you know, the 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 focused part of your time understand that the more focused you are on creating happiness within yourself the more and the easier it will be to renew your energy when you need to the next thing is be hungry be hungry for change be hungry for um, finding easier ways to do things look life is complicated only because people make it that way not because it has to be that way and so finding ways to simplify the thing the things that you are trying to accomplish and understanding that there's always ways to make things harder or simpler based on your perspective based on your based on your process based on how you move forward and understanding that life is a continual learning game the more hungry you are to make life simpler for yourself, the more hungry hungry you are to be able to get to where you need to be. It's uh, valuable and it's it's useful, um, and coming coming in a meaningful way can be super super valuable. Um, so the next and and one of the final things I want to I want to touch on in this particular audio is play to your strengths. Know what your strengths are. Look. If you're really smart about computers, then spend time there and use your time there. If you're really smart about uh, meditation or people skills or psychology or 
art or whatever. Spend your time where your strengths are. Understand that covering your weaknesses will be necessary. Understand that not everybody is going to view you in the same way or the way you fully want to be viewed. Understand that knowing how to connect with others is valuable and and use your strengths is valuable. And the more value you bring to the world, the easier it is to really reach a certain level of understanding about what the positive and negative aspects of what you're trying to accomplish truly is. When you know how to do this, when you understand the value in doing this, you will be able to get to some level of, uh, you know, higher and greater and deeper meaning in your own life. And so when you begin to understand the value of raising your meaning and raising your standards and really valuing yourself for your strengths, covering your weaknesses whenever you need to, and understanding that life is continually evolving and growing, you will be able to accomplish more in your daily life. So hopefully that's helpful. Keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.